If you're in London tomorrow and you're by Buckingham Palace, please do take a look out for this very special event. Oh yes, because way back, many, many years ago now, in 1904, there was an agreement, basically, for the very first time in a long time, should I say, the French troops will be patrolling inside Buckingham Palace all 32 of them, set to be a spectacular event and one of course that King Charles was very keen to organise. Again, really nice sort of gesture on his behalf and as I say, one of those historical moments that if you are in London, well yeah, what a thing to record or take a picture of or simply just take in the moment as your own personal memory. On another note, can we congratulate of course His Majesty the King and Queen Camilla, 19 years of marriage. That's right, I was there on that day, literally, and it doesn't seem 10 minutes ago. A lot of people are basically saying, you know, what's the plan? Well, as we all know, His Majesty the King is battling, of course, his own personal health issues, and we all wish him well. Naturally, I would have assumed there'll be a great message out on social media, thanking everybody for their kindness, cards, etc. Now, will there be a more public display? Well, apparently not. Every year they do like to take things rather quietly, so one suspecting that perhaps just a romantic dinner between the two of them and of course one might suspect a small gift between the two of them and this year more than ever no doubt reflecting back on what's been a rather difficult start to 2024. Finally here at number 10 Downing Street in the very heart of London I wanted to share this particular story with you because it's fascinating what comes to light literally after a few months. As we know last year Prince Harry was very busy of course in His Majesty's court defending what he felt was press intrusion, a battle that's still going on very much today. But there was one particular situation that really threw a bombshell in of course His Majesty's relationship with the government and of course the current sitting Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Rishi Sunak MP, currently residing in here and that door behind me. Yes, I know, for how much longer some people might suspect. But what's interesting here is, if you recall, Prince Harry very publicly said that the government was at rock bottom. Now, let me just explain how this works. Seemingly because, of course, Harry felt he wanted to get this personal sort of message out there, which he did. And as I say, it was like a rocket. Every Wednesday, the current British Prime Minister meets with the monarch to discuss the matters of the week, you know, the big political stories, what to look out for, what's happening in government. It's normally their very private time, a one-to-one -to, -one to discuss all relevant matters. I've been told that while Mr Sunak himself, of course, the Prime Minister, didn't publicly speak about it because it's not constitutionally right to do so about any government regarding the royals, I can tell you that very quietly and very sweetly, though, his Majesty the King did apologise on behalf of his youngest son, basically with the words hot-headed and all that sort of thing. Either way, it must have been acutely embarrassing for His Majesty the King to have to do so when simply it wasn't his fault at all. And when you think about all other previous royals who've never attacked any governments in power, kept their political leanings very much quietly, once again it was the flame-haired Harry that literally ignited a can of worms, whichever way you look at it. But moving forward on a happier note, as I say, if you want to see something spectacular with the French troops at Buckingham Palace, literally the, this morning here in London, as you're watching this video now, and of course, let's all wish our greatest wishes and love and affection to His Majesty the King and Queen Camilla on a very happy anniversary. Neil Sean, 10 Downing Street, London.